Hi, this is TxDOT San Antonio Public Information Officer Josh Donay. I'm headed north on U.S. Highway 281. We're north of Bulverde, about ready to approach into uh, the Spring Branch area. What I want to do is talk to you today about the uh, U.S. 281 Comal project. Essentially what we're doing is we're taking the uh, two-lane highway that we're about to join into right here and turning it into a four-way divided highway that we're just coming off of. Uh, essentially that will make all of 281 through Comal County as well as uh, through Bear County a two-lane divided highway uh, and, and of course through uh, San Antonio itself it's an expressway as most uh, folks know. But this uh, project is being uh, built through traditional funds. Uh, as I've talked to folks, I know that there's a lot of rumors flying around about the uh, money being used to finance the project. And I just want to, uh, I guess, put everybody's mind at ease that we are indeed using uh, traditional funds, that is your uh, state uh, and federal gas tax money etc. So excuse that deer on the side of the road. We'll have to get our uh, maintenance guys out here to get that off the side of the road here. Uh, at any rate, um, the good news about the construction of this project, as you know, is if you've been living out in this area or drive through this area quite a bit, is uh, most of the project, most of the work being done on the project is actually being done outside the traveling lanes. Uh, I'm trying to find our uh, SW3P. So Right now, uh, for instance, we're driving on what will be the two northbound lanes of 281 when we're all done. Right now it's north and south. Uh, the pavement that we're on right now will be used uh, to, to make the north and southbound lanes. But that kind of shifts back and forth a little bit. Right here, kind of as you see uh, a little black silt fence that moved up onto the hill to the right. Um, the, uh, the work area is going to widen and kind of move both ways, so we're about to shift over into what will be the southbound lanes of traffic as uh, the northbound lanes kind of moved to our right a little bit. Had to do with uh, right-of-way acquisitions and uh, where the easiest right-of-way to get uh, taken care of was and so forth. Um, now, one of the things I know residents up here have asked a lot about is what's uh, what's the entryway to my housing development going to look like when we're all done? Uh, you know, there are a lot of ways to answer that question. Ooh, we're going to slow down here. We have a looks like we have some activity here on the left with some state patrolmen. I want to try to slow down and give them as much space as they need as we uh, come through here. Um, at any rate, the the question is, ooh, that's a nasty crash. Uh, you know, seeing crash sites like this and seeing uh, stuff happen like this, this is one of the biggest reasons we're doing this work uh, with the uh, with this particular project. It's a safety project first and foremost. Uh, essentially, we're we're separating the the lanes of traffic, so the southbound lanes and the northbound lanes don't cross each other uh, too easily. Um, as many folks in this area know, traffic tends to rush through here pretty quickly and we want to try to make sure that it does so safely uh, without um, without you know meeting each other head-on uh, and, and so forth so we're, you know we're all about safety here uh, anyway back to the uh, entryways we're still on the uh, future southbound lanes of traffic here um, the uh, the entryways are going to vary from uh, one to another, but most of the subdivisions that are in this area, we are going to have some changes. Um, not significant, but we will see some changes as to uh, what your entryway will look like. And of course, if you're on the southbound side and you want to go northbound, well, you, you may not always have a direct connector crossing over to, to get you onto the uh, future northbound lanes. Now right here we're, we're shifting back over to the future northbound lanes. Um, doing most of our work over here on the median, if you can see that area. And over here just on our right, that black silt fence right there, kind of marks the edge of the area that we're going to be uh, using for roadway. So if you see that black, uh, that black um, uh, silt fence, 
you can think to yourself, okay, so that's where the roadway edge is going to be. Um, kind of being a little slower here, so I'm trying to let as many vehicles as I can pass through in this way. Now, there will be a couple of intersections with traffic signals. Uh, those intersections are the ones that have had traffic signals in the past. Uh, so if you're used to having those traffic signals, well, we're going we're gonna to keep those there for you. Especially as we come through here, this Rebecca Creek Road area and whatnot. This, this is going to be a highly trafficked area we anticipate. And we're trying to make sure that we uh, plan for that safely. Um, one of the interesting things to note, uh, I don't know uh, if this is normal. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's not normal. It's in fact that right here in the Rebecca Creek area, uh, on our left, you're going to see up here in a little while, you're going to see a, uh, uh, a community cemetery. I believe it's privately owned, and that's going to remain in place. And it'll actually be in the median area of, uh, of 281, so between the northbound and southbound lanes. But we're still traveling right now on the future northbound lanes of U.S. Highway 281. So when we finish here, here's that uh, cemetery I was telling you about right here on our left. Um, when we finish here, again, uh, when we're all done, the pavement that we're on right now will be the, the northbound lanes of U.S. Highway 281. We're coming up here on the intersection with FM 306, which means we're coming up on the uh, Blanco County line. Um, that's where we're ending the project, is at the county line. We'll taper the road back into a two-lane uh, country highway. And so if you're headed up to uh, Atlanta and whatnot, then that'll be kind of where you are. Right here at the 306, FM 306 uh, intersection, so you see this already has a, uh, a nice traffic light. We see a lot of activity up in this area. This is kind of where most of the construction activity is taking place. Again, it's out of the traveling lanes of the public, so if you're driving on your day-to-day, -day, you're not going to have to worry about us getting in your way too much. Just please be uh, mindful that Occasionally, and it's not going to be often, but occasionally you'll see some trucks moving in and out of the work area. So that is kind of our tour as we get into the Blanco County line. Uh, you can see kind of on the left side where those uh, southbound lanes taper back in to the rest of the traffic. That's our tour of U.S. Highway 281, Comal. Uh, again, if you want to find out the details on the project, you can look online, www.txdot.gov. That's txdot.gov and search keyword 281 Comal. All right, thanks.